Hey, a pleasure. Good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. ProJo, and this is going to be a reaction to a great Phantoms win in their first game back. Just like anticipated in the pregame, the ghostly take video. Please like, comment, and subscribe as always as well. And subscribe over at Flyers Nitty Gritty as well to all the great people that do stuff as well on there. And you can usually find their Twitters uh, mentioned on the Great Flyers Nitty Gritty website as well for all the great people that do work there. But this Phantoms game was great. It was as expected, like I said in the uh, preview for the game against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. I thought the Phantoms would look a lot better offensively coming back from not playing for a week rather than defensively because um, they did um, have the Wilkes-Barre team playing a game this week, at least one game, uh, which was Friday, so recently um, only had one game in between to play this game against the Syracuse Crush, that they did lose 5-2, to two, but they had the advantage of being right at game speed coming in, coming off of just a one-game layoff, a one-day layoff rather than a full-week layoff. And I thought the Phantoms looked really good um, for coming off of a full-week layoff. I mean, uh... Nick uh, Shilke, I think is how you say that, Shilke, um, who was able to get that rebound goal in front. That oddly hit off of Sandstrom's patter, obviously want that one back. Allison, in his second game, gets another goal, was able to snipe uh, one again on a nice assist from Zamula. And then he was also able to have an assist on the Chris Mueller goal from um um, what's it called, Allison to Sandine to Mueller, what he was able to pound at home, crash in the net in front, and score a very nice goal that Starrett had absolutely no chance of saving for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. Um, I think Shane Starrett played pretty well and kept them in the games in certain facets. I also think Felix Sandstrom in this game actually played pretty damn well for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and the only goal that realistically... Um, you can say that he really should have had was the uh, Nick uh, Shilke, I think is how you say his name, uh, Shilke goal. But other than that, um, the goal by Drew O'Connor was a deflection that uh, kind of snuck behind the defense, came in front of the net and scored. Jonathan Gruden got behind the defense on a breakaway and was able to score. And then uh, Bellarive <clears throat> was able to get open as well on the assist from Trotman and uh, Kuzman. So... I think uh, those plays, it's not like he was really going to be able to do much. Bellarive um, had an open shot coming down, uh, didn't look to pass. He ended up going for the shot and was able to bury it. So there's not much you can do there. But then clutch Tanner Lazinski comes up big. Oh, also, I forgot to mention Tyson Forster had an absolutely nasty backhander in the second period as well. I missed this great second period of goals after goal where Allison scored. Then uh, Sh Shilke scored for the Baby Penguins and forced out a great backhander on a great play by Ratcliffe to Logan Day and a great pass by Day to get it up to Forster for him to be able to bury a backhander. Mueller, again, great play from Allison to Sandine to Mueller to have him bury it in front of the net. O'Connor on an assist from Shilke, who had a great game against us, having a goal and an assist um, from Billy Sweezy um, was on his shot, was able to get a deflection and uh, that's how O'Connor was able to sneak in from behind the net and get a deflection goal in front of the net, it looked like on the backhand. And then from Bella Reeve, who also had a goal and an assist, had a good game against us. And Trotman had two assists, who had a good game for the Baby Pens against us. In a losing effort, who also had an assist in the Bella Reeve goal, it was Trotman. Uh, Gruden got open behind the play as well for the goal, and then Bella Reeve was able to decide to shoot rather than pass again for the goal recaps. But to Tanner Lozinski, Clutch Lozinski, um, his first two goals of the season could not have came at a better time. He tied it in the third period on a wonderful passing play from Mason Millman to Dirk Pouillard, who was able to get around and kind of um, crash in on offense a little bit there and then make a great uh, backhanded pass to Tanner Lozinski for the goal. Um, and then again, Derek Pouillat being able to get the assist along with Logan Day to Tanner Lozinski for the goal. Those guys hooking up twice as he was able to chip it in in front of the net um, and go glove side on Starrett for the overtime winning goal. Uh, he played fantastic tonight. And lozinski has been chipping all season away. Uh, he's had many, many chances. And he finally been able to pot a goal and two clutch goals at that uh, in the biggest moments of time. Wilman again, had a good game. He wasn't on the score sheet 
but he was a plus three. Wade Allison had a huge day along with Ozinski. Both were plus threes. Those guys, I would say, are tied for the stars of the game. Allison in only a second game having a goal and an assist and a plus three with three shots on net. Lozinski having his first two goals in absolute clutch time at a plus three with three shots on net. Sandstrom came up big and did what he had to do. Zamula was a plus one, so he continues to improve. He had one uh, mistake on defense that led to uh, almost a goal there, but then um, was on the ice, I believe, for one of the goals for if my eyes did not fail me. Um but uh, he had a pretty solid game overall, and then Logan Day uh, had two assists and had a very nice uh, outing as well at a plus two, as well as Pouillard, who had two assists and a very nice outing. just been a steady Eddie Smooth defenseman for the Lehigh Valley Phantom and has been on the taxi squad a bit. Maybe he'll get a chance at the Flyers' defensive struggles continue. Had a plus one, and Forster continues to impress. Two shots on net. One was that beautiful backhander. Mueller, the veteran, had two shots on net. One was a beautiful crash in the net goal. So it was a great first game back and a great building block for the Phantoms. As expected, their defense uh, is coming back, obviously, after a week off a little bit um, later than their offense. But their offense continued to be heavy, as it's been all season. They continue to perform on offense, and they continue to kill it on the penalty kill. Um, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton power play was 0 for 3. Unfortunately, Lehigh's was 0 for 4, so you want to get the power play going, but the penalty kill stays best in the AHL as that continues to grasp the Phantoms' momentum during many, many, many hockey games, and that's what this did tonight as well, as well as Tanner Lozinski's play, uh, the energizing play of guys like Forster and guys like um, Ryan Fitzgerald as well, and Zaid Wisdom, who again was not on the score sheet today, but had a couple steals, had a really good chance on that one play there. He was able to um, get the puck from the um, Scranton player and then create a great scoring chance, but then it got blocked by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton defenseman. I mean, wisdom, no matter if he's on the score sheet or not, same with Wilman. You always see plays where those guys just stand out. And then, again, the stars of the game today for me are obviously Tanner Lozinski with his two goals at clutch time, the tying goal, and the game-winning goal in overtime, and then Wade Allison in his second game scoring as many goals as well as going to assist, and Forster in his second game back scoring as many goals as well as getting an assist. And I think um, because Sandine had a very nice play on the Chris Mueller goal, Allison to Sandine to get that great pass in front to Mueller, uh, he deserves a start of the game as well because this is his first game back after being out for about a week, and he really looked good on this game. Excuse me, and looked really good in this game. So again, to wrap up, stars of the game are Tanner Lazinski, Wade Allison, and Linus Sandin with Felix Sandstrom deserving a shout out as well for doing exactly what he had to do and just having a very solid start, making the saves he had to make, and then getting hung out to dry on a couple plays. He would obviously want the uh, Shilke goal back, but O'Connor's goal was an open deflection in front. Gruden was a breakaway. And Bellarive, you had a, um odd man rush that he decided to shoot the puck and picked a very good spot. That was a very hard save. So a good day for Sandstrom. Great day for the kids. All being able to pot goals by the rookies in this game. It was great to be able to see that. As well as rookies with assists, obviously, in Zamola as well as Mason Millman on the game-winning goal. So it's great to see this great comeback a win for the Phantoms after having a weak layoff, a 5-4 OT win for the Phantoms. It's for now their fifth win in overtime as the Phantoms look to continue to build on the great start to the season thus far as their next game will be Wednesday the 24th against the Hershey Bears at 7 5 and that is a game I should be covering for Flyers Nitty Gritty on Wednesday. So please stay tuned for my Twitter accounts and Instagram for coverage of that game when I do it for Nitty Gritty. Sam did a fantastic job today. Shout out to her for covering the game fantastically today as the Phantoms continue to move up the standings um, <clears throat> this season and are really, really, really moving in the right direction. So I thank you all for joining this video of the Ghostly Take. I hope you enjoy the Phantoms vs. Wilkes-Barre Scan Game Recap. Please subscribe, trying to get to 125 by the end of next week. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy all the great NHL and AHL hockey action. Go Phantoms. Peace out, everybody.